All right, guys, so we have the OnePlus Open, the Pixel 9 Pro Fold, and the Galaxy Z Fold 6 all in a lineup. And we're going to try to go through as much of this as I possibly can. I am inevitably going to miss some things, okay? This is not going to be a perfectly comprehensive video. I apologize for anything that I do miss. I'm going to do my best, though. The first thing I just want to quickly show you is how different applications are going to look on these different devices. And I can't show you every app, so I'm going to show you an app that you're definitely familiar with, and that is YouTube. As you can see, the OnePlus Open and the Galaxy Z Fold 6 do look very much the same with four videos there on the screen. The Pixel Fold is basically going into this tablet layout and giving you six videos basically just more content on the screen. Now, if we are to take one of these other two devices and we rotate it, we will get that tablet layout. So that is definitely something worth keeping in mind. But basically, the Pixel is going to give you that layout straight out of the box. Now, strangely, this is not always the case, right? So in certain applications like Gmail, we do not get that tablet layout. We get the stretched out phone layout just like the other two. With all three, if you rotate them, you will get the tablet layout. So the tablet layout versus phone layout thing is one of those things that is unfortunately slightly hit or miss, but I will say that the Pixel does seem to attempt to get you into that tablet layout a little bit more often than the others do. Let me really quickly add a little bit of additional context to that here in the edit. That might not be something that you always love. So in the YouTube app, when we actually launch a video, you can see we have that tablet layout. So we have things kind of shifted around. Let's click on more and let's click on more. Which one of these do you think looks better? Having the description just sort of be down here or having it scrunched in over here on the side? Let's look at that transcript. I mean, it is absolutely teeny tiny. Personally, I would rather have this going on as opposed to this. When you're in the app, you know, not in a video, I think the Pixel looks better in a video. I think that the phone app actually stretched out tends to be a bit better. With that out of the way, let's talk about multitasking and how it is generally initiated. And this is one of these things where there's a million ways to do this and I can't possibly cover them all and be succinct at all. So we're gonna just try to cover things as quickly as possible. With the Samsung device and the OnePlus device, you have a taskbar down here at the bottom and it typically is just pinned down here at the bottom. You can simply click on one of these applications to swap them out or you can drag the application up onto the screen to throw it up into split screen. You can see that between these two, it is very, very similar. One thing that I do need to point out is that with the Samsung device, you can put an application on the bottom for a top bottom split. For this, we will have them side by side. On the Pixel, things are slightly different out of the box. You need to do a short swipe up to access your taskbar. Now, of course, you can long press on the divider and have that taskbar be pinned. At that point, it is very, very similar to the other two. I tend to keep the taskbar not pinned because it just frees up a little bit more space. But we will go ahead and grab Gmail. And the same thing is true. You can drag it onto the left or right. You cannot do a top bottom split though. So let's go ahead and put Gmail right there. And you can see how these look side by side. Definitely two skinnier looking screens on the Z Fold compared to the Open and the Pixel 9 Pro Fold, which do look fairly similar. Now with all three of these, you do have the ability to save an app group. It's what the little star is here, and then obviously save app group on the OnePlus Open. What that's gonna do is create a shortcut that will allow you to launch those two apps side by side straight away. On the Pixel, you wanna swipe up and hold, and then you have your save app pair option down at the bottom. I do need to quickly address one thing that is very different about the OnePlus Open though. This uses something called Open Canvas. Perhaps you can see it, but Gmail is fully on screen, whereas YouTube is actually extending off the screen. Strangely enough, it has switched to the tablet layout when you're in this view, so that is a little bit odd. But basically what this allows you to do is quickly switch between a phone size app and a tablet size app. I can click up here and shrink it, and now you have the same view as the other two, 
or you can expand both applications to have two full screen applications. Again, tablet view, that is a little bit unexpected. I did not realize that was a thing. But this gives you some really, really nice flexibility. One more thing that we definitely need to point out is the fact that these two devices can do a third app. So we'll just grab the Play Store over here and you can see that I can put it down here, I can put it there, basically in these four corners. We'll just stick it down there at the bottom. Let's go ahead and shrink everything on the OnePlus Open and we will grab the Play Store as well and let's drag this in. Now this is going to be different because you can see here, release to add split view. I can't put it in these four corners, I can only put it here and what's gonna happen is, see here it is expanded, let's go ahead and shrink it and what's gonna happen is this, they're side by side with one app going off the screen. You can of course expand it and have this view, expand this one and have this view or expand the third one and now you're just jumping between three full screen apps. That is very, very useful, at least as far as I'm concerned. And I think it's actually more useful than having these two little squares that personally I just don't think are good for a whole heck of a lot. So now we've gone back to two apps because what I need to show you is a floating window. So let's grab the Play Store again and if you, and if you drag it to the middle, you can open it up as a floating window. This is a feature that I absolutely love and I really wish was present on the Pixel 9 Pro Fold, but unfortunately, it just isn't. Yes, you can jump into developer options and you can enable something that's kind of like that, but let's be honest, it does not work well. I don't advise you doing it. Over here on the OnePlus Open, same thing, don't be fooled. You have to let it sit there for a second. I've actually been tricked by that before. You won't see it unless you let it sit for a second and then, it will pop up, but there's something worth noting here. On the Z Fold, you can actually resize this application to any size or shape that you want. On the OnePlus Open, that is not true. You can resize it, but it's gonna maintain the same aspect ratio. I do like that you can put it into mini view and it will throw it onto the side up here. It will kind of just place it in the corner. We'll drag it back out into the middle and go back to mini view and it's gonna throw it over there to the corner. I actually use this fairly often with Wise. If I am waiting for a package or something like that, I'll fire up Wise and I will open up my front porch camera. I'll throw it into mini view and I will just leave it up there and I can see if that package is coming. But again, on the Z Fold, I could make that the aspect ratio of just the screen and that is definitely better for me. Also, very much worth noting that if we try to do this with YouTube, what you'll find is that you can do a pop-up view on the Z Fold, but you cannot on the OnePlus Open. You can see here floating window, but no floating window on YouTube. And that is because floating windows do not work universally on the OnePlus Open. It only works on some apps. Now there may be a workaround to that that I'm just not aware of. I've tried some things in developer options and it's never been something that has worked for me. Maybe you know something that I don't know. Obviously the most glaring truth about everything that I've just said is that the Pixel 9 Pro Fold is by far the most limited. What you can see right here, two applications open side by side, I can swap them around, I can resize them. That's pretty much about it. I do need to point out that you can have a top bottom split on the on the Pixel 9 Pro Fold, but it is only done by actually physically rotating the device. You can't actually do it in that view. So technically you can, but it's not quite the same. And just for clarity, we will point out that a top bottom split is also possible on the OnePlus Open, but similarly to what we just talked about with the pop-up view not being compatible with all apps, what you're gonna find is that some applications can be expanded or you can hit the shrink button, but other applications will not give you that ability. Even if we swap sides so that the Play Store is up top, you can't do that. So if you wanted to have YouTube on the top and the Play Store on the bottom, you're not gonna be able to actually see YouTube to, to see what's going on in that app because you can't shrink the Play Store. A couple more neat little tricks that I wanna quickly point out on the OnePlus Open. If you do a two finger swipe down, you will see your application split in two and that allows you to quickly just tap another application to jump into split screen 
on the Galaxy Z Fold 6. This is a setting that you must actually manually enable. But what you can do is kind of similarly, take two fingers and swipe in from the side and you will get this view, which will allow you to launch a second application. Similarly, another option that you have to actually enable in the settings, if you have an application open and you swipe in from the corner, you can go straight into pop-up view. And over here on the OnePlus open, if you swipe up and hold, you will see release for pop-up view or floating window, and it's going to do that for you there as well. So let me make a couple of things absolutely clear. I do 1000% wish Google would launch more features for multitasking on the Pixel 9 Pro Fold. My number one thing, the number one thing at the top of my wish list is going to be floating windows. I don't know what has taken so long, why that is not a thing, but it's something that I desperately would love to see on this device. Something that I care less about though is the ability to have more than two apps on the screen at a time. You may completely disagree, but for me, I 99% of the time am going to use two apps. The frequency with which I have a third app on the screen on either of these devices is exceedingly rare. Now I will say I did it more on the open than I do on the Z Fold, but we were talking about maybe once a month or something like that. It is almost always two applications. And that is why broadly, I'm actually okay with the Pixel 9 Pro Fold because it is the widest of these three devices. And because of that, when you have your two apps open, you have two apps that are the closest to a normal phone aspect ratio. Granted, we are very close over here on the OnePlus Open. I do quickly want to show you something within GoodLock. If you go into the multi-star module, and you scroll down here to multi-window screen zoom. Let's go ahead and turn that on, and let's turn it on for split screen, and we'll do pop-up view as well. What this is going to do is it's going to make it so that when you're in split screen, the apps are zoomed out just a little bit, which is going to make it so that you're going to be able to see a bit more content when you're in this view. So because this device is very narrow, you might find that very useful. And I'll go ahead and jump into the pop-up view so that you can see it here as well. You're just able to see a bit more. Of course, when we talk about multitasking, it is important to point out how these devices function when they are plugged into an external screen. When it comes to both of these devices, the Pixel and the OnePlus Open, you do have screen mirroring, but that is going to be about it. When it comes to the Galaxy Z Fold 6, you do have Samsung DeX, which might be an absolute game changer for you. So there you go, guys. Three absolutely tremendous phones. Three phones, though, that I think approach multitasking in relatively different ways, different enough to warrant a fairly, you know, fairly comprehensive video like this. In some ways, I think that the OnePlus Open does a lot of things really, really well. I love the two-finger gesture. I love open canvas, but hey, the Z Fold 6 does have advantages with things like Samsung DeX and universally functioning top bottom split and floating window. I think the clearest thing is to say that the Pixel 9 Pro Fold has fallen behind the furthest when it comes to just total number of features, even if for me, what it can do tends to be what I need it to do most of the time. I absolutely think that it's worth criticizing Google for not delivering things like floating windows on this device. But I do want to hear from you guys in the comments down below. Which one do you think handles multitasking the best? Do you use more than two apps at a time? Do you find the Pixel to be sufficient for you? Let me know in those comments down below. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more content just like this. And until next time, stay nerdy, my friends.